Hey guys, what's up? It's TF Nut here. Welcome back to the channel and to save up some time for myself when editing, I'm going to be doing a double review today. I'm going to be doing the Marvel Legends series part of the Marvel's Mr. Hyde series, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Five Rings, Shang-Chi and Wen Wu. These figures came out of nowhere. Some people got these over a week ago and I just found some today like a lot of people at a local Target. I guess they're putting out their stuff now. And I only found it at one target, though, and just these two figures, sadly. But I will be patient for the rest of them. I did want to get these two and see just how good, hopefully, the rest of the wave is going to be. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited for the movie, like a lot of people are. And I'm just going to go ahead and talk about the packaging here. It's pretty cool. It's very standard with Marvel Legends. It says Legends Series at the top hit half, as you can see there. You have the figures in the box, as well as the contents that they come with, and they come with a lot of stuff. It does say towards the bottom half here, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Five Rings. There's a Mar the Marvel logo there as well. And it has the characters' names as well as the Hasbro logo towards the bottom right. And on top here, both of these have the exact same uh, logo there. Of course, it said build a figure, Marvel's Mr. Hyde, Warding, and Ages 4 and up. And then on this side here, it's going to look the same on the other side. It's images of the characters right there. Looking pretty good with the logo down on the bottom of the packaging as well. We get to the back of the packaging here. It is different artwork, as you can see. And we do have multilingual read-ups if you want to try to pause and read that right now for both characters. That's a Marvel Legends series on the top right of both boxes. Towards the bottom half here, it's going to be the same for both of them. It's going to have the characters there, as well as what corresponding Build-A-Figure piece comes in the wave, as you can see. And then we do have multilingual uh warnings there and then on the bottom here just some barcodes in case you need it left one is shang chi right one is Wenwu. let's go ahead and get these out of the packaging all right so here they are out of the packaging these are pretty solid not gonna lie i have a couple nitpicks uh nothing too major for me at least uh, as we keep going along with this review i might find a few problems but overall pretty solid start and pretty good first impressions let's go ahead and take a look at Shang-Chi first, we're going to look at his accessories in the figure, then we'll look at Wenwu afterwards. So first of all, we do get, I believe, is the left leg of the Mr. Hyde Build-A-Figure piece, which I believe is a similar, if not the exact same sculpt, as the Kingpin Build-A-Figure leg. Uh, just in green and with a black shoe. Uh, I don't know if I'll build this. If I do, I'll wait to talk about the detail, because there's already there's six figures in the wave. Probably will get them all eventually. Just not right now. We do have a pair of these open clenched hands meant for posing. These are really cool. You can recreate a uh, pose. There are several poses, really, that he did in the trailer so far. And uh, these are really nice. I don't know if we've gotten these before with other figures. Wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't be surprised if we did. Wouldn't blame them if they reuse since hands, I think, are fine for reusing. These could be new, though. Just mostly... Uh, how much going on with detail a little bit of some veins on the back of the hand inside it's got some pretty good uh detail with the fingernails and whatnot so that's cool and then i've never seen any kind of posing with these fingers before i don't know what these are exactly are for i didn't i don't know if he did this in the trailer yet i'm sure he'll do this in the movie but these are actually pretty cool you have the thumb and the next finger touch uh touching on these i do wish we got fists with this figure we don't get any fists but uh i mean honestly these are still pretty cool. Like these, all the rest of the fingers are molded together on there, and that is sick. And then last but not least, we do have his staff. I don't know what the staff is called. I forgot to look up what the toy. There's there's a toy out now that you can that kids can play with. That's this staff. I forgot to look it up. I do apologize. But it looks good. Just a very basic gray paint right there. And then this side right here is painted in black. And the the paint is pretty solid. I don't see really any bad paint apps going on it's just kind of just a basic brown paint that they're using though so to me not super special a little bit of sculpting going on there but overall i mean still pretty nice now allow me to do a quick 360 look here well, overall i think that there's actually a really good amount of sculpting going on here and let me try to focus up a little bit for you guys and give you an idea what he looks like next to the image of Samu Liu. Please correct me if I said that wrong. The actor playing Shang-Chi. I think it's a pretty damn close likeness. Not 100% perfect like a lot of Marvel Legends, but pretty close. This figure looks really good. This head sculpt is great. I, I really like it. Uh, I really like the, the face printing technology that they're doing on here. 
and it, it comes through pretty clean up close it does look a little weird like it definitely looks printed on there but right now in the viewfinder of my camera like what you guys are seeing it looks really it looks pretty realistic now i thought there was a splotch on the face here kind of see that the light is kind of bugging me um that's actually i believe he has a mole in real life so they put that on there with the face printing where they just have some paint apps on there and that looks pretty good i thought it was a splotch but it wasn't and then we get to the hair which is just molded in this black color here which is fine maybe a little bit of different paint variation would go a long way but still looks good i think the overall head sculpt is very well done and the rest of this outfit, now the red is not painted, but we do have these nice black lines. As you can see on here, it's very, very clean from what I've seen so far with these black lines. Maybe a little bit of messiness like around here on the inner, once the shoulder is about to go into the part where the articulation is, you know, the shoulder joint and whatnot, the socket. But on the back here, like it looks really good. Now it looks a little plain here, not much detail going on. I don't know how the back of the outfit is supposed to look yet. But uh, yeah, the uh, sleeves rolled up look really good. And there's a little bit of skin tone bleeding onto the black there where there shouldn't be. It's not too noticeable, I guess. I mean, right here, that's a little bit worse. And then we have the pegs here. These black pegs going through the red, which could be a little distracting. I wish we had pinless tech on the arms. That's what the inside of the arm looks like too. So yeah, it's a little distracting, unfortunately. Now, there's is pretty good black, uh, black glossy paint going on there with a little bit of a red splotch very very hard to see but it is visible so uh like in in person right now on can the camera i cannot see the red splotch around the top of his shoulder so i'm not going to complain too much about it it's something i thought i'd notice that I'm, uh, things i'm noticing right now of course this is that part of the review now these hands are clenched and these are meant for holding uh his weapon so again, we don't get fists. These are basically the only the closest thing to fists that we get, sadly. Um, but if you have some Marvel Legends, hopefully you can use some fists. Um, and again, I'll show it off later. But the fists from when we'll work with this guy. Uh, we, if you bend the joint here, the black right there will, you know, not be consistent. You see that red on the joint, which is a little unfortunate. But who's gonna notice that much? Now we get down to the skirt part here. This is a softer plastic piece. A little bit of some black lines painted on the red. Side right here on the black. It's nicely painted, I think. Nice black and glossy. We get down to these uh, pretty nice pants. I really like the sculpt, honestly. I wish they. I hope they use these in the future for other characters. Um, because the, it, it's pretty... I don't know. I, I think there's a lot. It's multi-purpose, honestly. They look really good. And uh, they have pinless tech, so that's cool. Now, it's not really much paint going on. It's just a very basic black mold, but it looks good. There's a little bit of texturing going on in there, some wrinkles, of course. And then we get to the shoes, which I thought were reused from, let's say, the Peter Parker figure, which I do have right here. And they are not. You can tell by the groove that is sculpted in the feet there and the more smoothed out, I'd say more natural looking shoes from Shang-Chi. And I think that these sculpt here, I believe they're they're pretty close, but I actually like these more, the way that they look. I don't know, they're just nice looking. We have the, the white on the bottom there for the sneakers. They look really nice, and we do have the nice sculpting on the laces. Then we get down to the bottom of the feet. Did they finally stop putting the serial printing? Yeah, they stopped putting the serial printing on the back of the leg. To make it look ugly and put it on the feet like I've always wanted them to. So that's sick. All right. Overall, very solid when it comes to detail. Like the texturing, of course, that I, I don't know if I mentioned. With the red, it does look really good. I just wish there was a little bit more paint in the red overall to bring out that texture. Very decent paint apps and sculpting. They, from my understanding, a pretty unique body mold. And I dig it. Now, we do have a ball joint head, which is a pin and socket that we've gotten with some Marvel Legends figures over the past year. So it can go side to side, up and down actually pretty well. But the down could be a little better, but not terrible. And it does swivel side to side, but you get lots of nice range of motion, actually. No butterfly swivel, but we do have arms that go all the way around. In and out, upper arm swivel. We do get a single joint, actually double joint elbow. Why did I say single joint? 
in and out and swivel for all hands that he comes with. This forward of a crunch, which looks a little weird. Not going to notice it if he's like this, though. That's what the back looks like, which also looks pretty weird. It looks like it's going to look like if it bends like that on a figure, it's most likely going to look weird on any figure. Swivel here. And then we do have legs can go forward to back eh, in and out pretty well. Upper thigh swivel, double joint knees. And that which I feel like it's a little chunky on the knee here for the sculpt, but it's fine for me at least. Up and down. And then we do get an ankle rocker at the shoe. So here is the right arm to Mr. Hyde. And I do have the cane in there looking pretty good again. Uh, if I get to building the build a figure, I'll talk more about the detail there. But, ah, please, uh, please let me know what the name of this weapon is. I forgot to look it up. Uh, I'll probably put up something around here saying what it's called. But this also is like Cabal's weapon, right, from Mortal Kombat. So, uh, please, again, correct me if I'm wrong, please. Uh, looking pretty good. It looks a little plain in the sculpting here. It's just molten in this gray with that handle right there has some black paint so that looks pretty good the overall sculpt i think is pretty all right now we do get a pair of gripped hands he comes packaged with the fists so these gripped hands here as you can see i don't know if these are the exact same i think they are a little bit different from shang chi but uh yeah you can see how gripped these are and they look pretty decent similar to shang chi not much detail besides you know some veins on the back of the hand there so that's pretty good and then we get these posed hands. Uh, these are, you know, these fingers sticking out with the ring and pinky finger sculpted into the palm there. So that is pretty cool. We've gotten similar sculpts like these. I don't believe these are the exact same as we've gotten before, but still pretty cool. Here's another 360 look at one of these figures we have here looking pretty good. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the face here. Which is, uh, this is played by actor Tony Leung, I believe. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but, uh, I feel like the likeness this time around is a little iffier. It's close, though. Overall, still pretty decent. I think the head sculpt itself is, uh, pretty nice. And, uh, overall, you know, they got the nice printing on there. A little bit of wrinklage in his face, so nothing too bad. And, uh, you have the nice black hair here which i do wish again like with shang chi had some paint variation it's just a basic molded black but the sculpting itself is pretty good you get to the armor here with some nice light blue mixed into the black on, on the shoulder pad here which is this is a softer piece it's not completely soft but it, uh, is it actually soft plastic it, yeah it's a soft plastic. i almost ripped that off that's bad um get down to the black here different textures going on here with some nice dots or whatever i don't really know what else to call them we have some somewhat leather material looking right there. I feel like the black is fading a little bit with the blue. So that's a little messy. We have some nice texture on the chest here. Dark blue collar back here. Very similar approach. You know, these dots with the leather texturing right there. And uh, let's get to the arms. As you can see, nice wrinkles going on in the black here. We also have seen, uh, we have some dark blue, as you can see. It's actually not on this one. It's only on this one. With a shoulder pad. This is, I don't know if that's... That's definitely a shoulder pad. This, I don't really know. Now we get to the arms. Pretty good sculpting. That's crazy. Now, I don't know what they were thinking here. Look at that. That is kind of ugly. Yeah, so that breaks up the sculpt. Uh, it's like a copper, almost. Like a bronze type of paint that they're using. But, uh... You see some of the skin tone does bleed onto there a little bit. And these are the fists. These fists are pretty nice. We have the Order of the Ten Rings logo around his belt. And they sculpted that pretty clean, honestly. Nice sculpting, as you can see, going on around here. Nice printing that they have for his, uh, you know, I don't want to call it a skirt. I don't know exactly what it would be called uh, in this context, but... You know, all this right here that's supposed to be a flowing i wish it was a soft plastic because th this gets in the way of leg articulation so that sucks but the printing on here is pretty cool and then we get to uh i didn't talk about the stomach yet but you can see right there so i had to move my camera a little bit um yeah, a little bit of detail going on there a little bit of leather detail in where the uh articulation is hiding that this right here 
gets in the way. Yeah, all this gets in the way. Pretty nice wrinkles. It's kind of hard to see up in there. But uh, knee pads, nicely sculpted. Some wrinkles, definitely wrinkles throughout the whole pants, as you can see there. And then some silver paint right there on the boots. Some nice laces, too. That's what the back looks like right there with some nice silver paint. Bottom of the feet, nice printing on the, you know, serial printing. Thank God they're doing that. That's what the top of the feet look like. So, overall, things for me, a little bit iffier on Wenwu here. Still pretty decent looking figure. It's mostly just this getting in the way of the leg articulation, which we'll talk about the articulation right now. We have similar head articulation with Shang-Chi. Uh, ball, a dumbbell system. I don't actually, it's not dumbbell, but you know what I'm talking about. It's a ball peg. Side to side, forward back, up and down, whatnot. Uh, I can't tell if there's a if there's a butterfly joint this time around. I don't think so, but it swivels. Goes in and out, upper arm swivel. Double jointed elbow, which is a little hard to bend. You know, have a hinge at the wrist and a swivel at the wrist is for all hands. Ball jointed waist. So it can swivel forward and back. The back is not very good, but the forward is pretty all right. So we don't have a hinge and swivel, but a ball swivel. Legs, that's as far as it could kick out. Not back at all. That's as far as it can kick out as well. Not great. Upper thigh swivel. We get the double joint knees, which I didn't bend all the way because it gets in the way. But we do have pinless tech on the, on the pants, so that's cool. Feet up. Eh. Down. You know, you have the boots sculpted here. You should have done a, honestly, a, a boot swivel. I think, at least. And then we get two uh, ankle rockers right there. Not for size comparisons on the left, I have the comic Shang-Chi figure. And on the right, I have the more recent Hand Ninja. The Hand Ninja is actually a pretty tall Marvel Legends figure. Uh, they're all relatively about the same size, so the other three figures. And then an MCU figure on the left, that is Worthy Captain America, which is actually a little bit shorter than the two movie figures in the middle. And then on the right, we have the comics Iron Fist figure, which is going to be just a tiny bit taller. So overall, I do think these are honestly very solid Marvel Legends figures. They're done very well, especially Shang-Chi. I really like that figure. The only thing that would make it better is if he actually came with a pair of fists for himself, but we already get a ton of accessories for Shang-Chi. Now, the biggest problems I have out of both of these is they're going to be with Wen Wu. Uh, the uh, you know the, the part around the waist and the legs. It's it, there's not much articulation that you're gonna get out of the legs, sadly. You know, I, uh, and that's a little unfortunate. I want to be able to do a pretty good amount of posing with some action poses and whatnot, but uh, it's also gonna have to do with his weapon and his fists for now, in order to not look really bad because it's just an all plastic piece covering his legs. But both figures again come with a lot of accessories, pretty great details. Could have some better paint throughout both figures. Some of the way that the joints are done, you know, with the exposed joints. Basically, Shang-Chi's black joints on the red of his biceps are a little weird. But great figures overall. I really dig them a lot. And they look a lot like the actors, too. They're about 20 bucks. You or, try to get them at Target right now. But they're dropping online this week, pretty much today. When, um, you know, the past couple of days, they've been dropping online. So you can secure pre-orders on Amazon and Big Bad Toy Store. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment down below what you think about the figures. What do you think about the review? Leave a like, share amongst your friends, and I'll see you guys later.